Sim Saints, welcome in. Glory be to God. I trust that you all make it home safe in Jesus' name. Our topic for today is avoiding deceptions. Hallelujah. And we will be on the first Thessalonians verse 2 down. Hallelujah. Merciful Father, we thank you for another day, Lord. Hallelujah to come in your presence lord to stand on your words to stand on your truth to stand on your church your rock in jesus name be with us lord let learning be easy hallelujah let teaching be easy lord teach us to guard our hearts and our mind and let it stay fixed on you in the name of jesus christ Glory be to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. 2 Thessalonians 2. Saints, you can read these scriptures on your own time. Scriptural insight. Verse 1 to 23. Contain truth about the time reveals Hallelujah, nowhere else in the scripture. The section is the key understanding future events which to come. And it is central to the argument of the epistle. Many people throughout church history has confused the teaching of the apostle that Christ could come at any moment for believers at the rapture saints we don't know the time or the hour the lord will come back we just need to keep our eye fixed on the clouds take not our eyes from the skies pray and seek his face daily ask and repent ask for his forgiveness wash our robes Make sure our heart is pure and our mind is pure. And we love on people, not just ourselves. So that when the Lord comes back, we will not be in any. We will not be like the foolish virgins. Hallelujah. So keep your heart and mind fixed on the Lord. That you will be in his rapture. Glory be to the Lamb of God. And the unbiblical areas that he would come at any moment in a twinkling of an eye the first correct view in the doctrine of immense but the second incorrect view involved date and setting second thessalonian 2 second thessalonian 8 glory be to the lamb of god second thessalonian 2 1 to 12 verse 1 review paul reason for writing this letter and refer back to a question he obviously addressed in the first letter saints glory be to the lamb of god first thessalonians 4 13 and first thessalonians 5 verse 10 he gets specific in verse 2 what was unsettling in thessalonians Paul had warned them in his first letter and give instruction, explain the instruction given. Hallelujah, saints. If you read 1 Thessalonians 5, 19 to 21 and 2 Peter 3, verse 15 to 16. Gaining perspective, turning away from the truth and previously had been acknowledged is called apostasies are you careful to critical analyze what you see or saw read and hear how do you know if it is true or not so god said to test the spirit Verse 2, the apostle attitude toward day of the Lord can also be taken and is prevalent today. Read 2 Peter 3 verse 3 to 7. What attitude 
does Peter warn about? What scripture do people with his attitude have to ignore or explain way? Gaining perspective described an experience you have, hallelujah, had with people, how you treat people in the church would maintain the same attitude described in second peter 3 verse 3 to 7. what what the john come chat to boat then hallelujah glory be to the lamb of god Sorry about that disruption with my little dog, saints. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Second Peter 3, verse 3 to 7. What gives them hope, if not the return of Christ? The Lord give us hope, saints. Doesn't matter what's going on. The Lord give us hope. We can hope in the Lord. We can rest in the lord no matter the swaying of disasters the lord rest assured saints hallelujah second thessalonians 2 1 to 12 describe the general signs proceed in the day of the lord see also daniel 9 24 to 27 and matthew 24 1 to 35 saints you need to buy some bibles and read your bibles Huh? A house without a Bible, it's, it's come like hell. Hallelujah. Without the word, without the food and knowledge of God, you are walking dead, you are dry bones. Hallelujah. You have no power. You need Bible saints. Buy some Bible, which give more descriptive details regarding what Paul wrote in thessalonians 2 what characteristic describe this man of lawlessness or abomination of desolation see also daniel 11 37 to 36 to 37 and revelation 13 5 to 8 in our society saints we are obsessed with the sensational how can we know whether miracle signs and wonders are counterfeit or not? View or review the purpose of miracles in Hebrews 2, 3 to 4. How can we determine who will be glorified, who will be worshipped as a result in verse six to seven who and or what do you think is holding back restraining the man of lawlessness who is the only one who knows when these things will take place but god himself only god hallelujah only god since before the lord has he sends a warning before the lord comes he will send a warning the lord always give his messenger the prophets the real prophet says that the false prophets hallelujah the lord always give the prophets warning a message before he acts before a disaster a prophet will see and say something if he don't say something then that burden will be rested on his or her shoulders hallelujah glory be to the lamb of god but only god himself know the time and the hour when he chose to come hallelujah and until his word flow through all of creation then he will not come and until all the churches becomes one flesh in one accord then he will not come <laughs> hallelujah 
just make sure you are ready in and out of season glory be to the lamb of god focus on the meaning the mysteries truth previously not revealed but now made known paul referred to here is the revelation of the future climax of lawlessness that would follow the removal of the restrainer this lawless movement was already on the way in paul's day but god was holding it back until his appointed time hallelujah a thousand year for us would be like a day a fingernail tip for the lord hallelujah that's why the word of god say what is it to you when the lord will come glory be to the lamb of god then he will remove the restraining the restraining influence this removal probably a reference to the rapture glory be to god when god restrained of evil through his people hallelujah will end has he removed them from the hurt god will remove the holy spirit from the hurt in the sense that god will remove those who he indwelled and he with them he will not entirely abandon the earth of course since god is omnipotent is everywhere second thessalonian verse 15 hallelujah as awful as the day of the lord sounds how does knowing who is in control of it all give you comfort and keep you from giving way to fear hallelujah can you truth can you trust him and carry out his plan and still take care of you hallelujah first thessalonians 2 verse 1 to 12 paul say for the secret power of lawlessness is already at work second timothy 3 verse 1 to 5 another prophecy concerning the last days do you agree with paul saints sure explain your answers hallelujah I agreed with Paul because God always sent a warning before he acts. Hallelujah. Verse 9 to 12, we're still in Thessalonians. In the context of what we have already learned regarding God's judgment of these who refer to gospel. Romans 1, 20 to 32 states, and first thessalonians 4 16 to 17 and first thessalonians 5 9 to 10 and second thessalonians 2 verses 8 what is the good news for the thessalonian believers and for us hallelujah praises god praise god for his great salvation for you and me or for you and I who have chosen to love the truth and believe his gospel meditate on what salvation truly means to you for the rest of the night evening afternoon morning in your area in your neck of the woods hallelujah I don't know the girl timing second Thessalonians 2 13 to 17 from verse 13 and verse 13 to 15 list all that god has already done he has already planned to do for the thessalonians and the believers us in this day so what is our responsibilities now to what 
hallelujah to what tradition teaches and what Paul refers hallelujah saints go back to second Thessalonians 2 verse 5 and read and first Thessalonians 2 9 to 13 and first Thessalonians 4 1 2 and first Thessalonians 8 verse 9 read and you will get the understanding in the view of their calling Paul urged his readers not to abandon what he and his associate has taught them in the person and by letter he wanted them to hold firmly to the inspired instruction that he had that he handed on them hallelujah second thessalonian 18 Paul wrote magnificent words of encouragement and the Holy Spirit led him to write who is the ultimate encourager discussed in verse 16 to 17 God hallelujah when you feel like giving up there's this still small voice say don't give up press on hallelujah God is the greatest encourager psalms 56 verse 3 what do these verse say to you saints god knows our every needs as his child or children you can go direct to him and ask for encouragement from him for yourselves glory be to the lamb of god i trust that you learned something tonight saints go back over this live write down the scriptures i do not have all that time to read all those scriptures while doing this it will take up too much time glory be to the lamb of god and the curtain is going to pull down here give me you everything else can wait give me you I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Lord, give me you. I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. It's me. if you have nothing good to say you say nothing at all hallelujah 
be your brothers and your sisters keepers and if you see someone falling down don't blot out their shame lift them up pray for them all their hands hallelujah for none of us are perfect hallelujah glory be to the lamb of god saints the Lord loves you. And I love you with the love of Christ. But the Lord loves you. He keeps you. He makes his face to shine on you. He give you all the desires of your hearts. Hallelujah. He give you sweet rest, joy, love, and long suffering. Hallelujah. And remember, he is always with you until the very end. Jesus loves you. The Lord loves you. However, you call him Yeshua. Hallelujah. He's the same one God. We don't worship vanity in our ground, God. Put away pride and boasting. Put away unforgiveness. Sometimes people didn't even do you anything, but you have them up in your cross. Put away unforgiveness and selfishness and backbiting and boasting and envy and jealousy even jealous for your your friend's wife haha <laughs> or husband hallelujah and saints if you know that that person really don't like you you stay away from them love them from a distance And if you know that they, you know that you know that they are lying on you, you don't even have to explain anything. Just let the Lord have his way. Hallelujah. Because the devil used the weaker vessels to become an agent against you. Keep praying, keep fasting. Read the words daily saints. Be ready in and out of season. Put on the whole armor so you can stand against the walls. Hallelujah. And while you are still alive, remember you are still standing on the promises of God. The Lord loves you and he is with you, saints. Walk, ride, and drive safe. Before you go out to speed, best if you leave half hour earlier. Shalom, my people. Remember, if you have nothing good to say, say nothing at all. Shalom.